Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, is I perform feats of strength like bending steel bars, breaking chains, rolling up frying pans, twisting horseshoes, holding back motorcycles, and other feats of strength as part of a live show. Sort of like a modern day version of the Mighty Adam and Alexander Zass and that style, but with a modern day twist. Now, being a modern day performing strongman, I know that there's not a whole lot of us around these days and that people are gonna have questions. So in an effort to generate content for my YouTube channel as by giving you guys what you want, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I would invite you to ask me questions by dropping it in the comments below. And when you do that, I get back to you with your very own custom video. Pretty cool, right? So, this question comes from Jamie Mendez. And, and it's actually very similar to my, the last video, but I'm going to answer it again. So, he says, Great vid. Question. In your experience, can you get stronger and bigger, i.e. hypertrophy, using only isometrics? Thank you for asking that, Jamie. So, it's really just, it's two questions in one. Can you get stronger with isometrics? Absolutely. Isometrics are a very, very effective form of strength training. Because one of the things when it comes to is isometric, or I should say, with, uh, with weights is if you are lifting a 20 pound dumbbell, so to speak, you're only going to be using as much force as is needed to lift that 20 pounds. You're not going to use all of your motor units to do it. <clears throat> with isometrics though, if you're pulling hard against that, uh, you're going to be using as many motor units as you currently have access to. And in doing so, you can teach more motor units to activate, right? But, um, basically, you can, you're teaching your body about strength. And also, because there's no actual joint movement occurring, it tends to be pretty safe on the joints because there's no abrasion. Now, um, the second question, hypertrophy. Yes, you can get bigger using isometrics for hypertrophy, although I don't believe it's optimal. So for hypertrophy, what you are going to be looking for is um, mechanical tension, basically the, the uh, joints being under stress, and time under tension, basically giving it enough time to actually accumulate stuff that's going to induce hypertrophy. Now, I don't think that it is optimal for that. You know, like I use isometrics purely for strength. I don't use it at all for hypertrophy training. I use weights for hypertrophy training, and I use weights with volume to induce hypertrophy. Now, admittedly, I'm more of a strength guy as opposed to a hypertrophy guy. As you can see, I'm not the biggest. I don't have the biggest muscles out there. I'm not going to be winning any bodybuilding or physique competitions anytime soon. When I train with weights, it is to give me a certain physique that I think is going to be aesthetically appealing primarily for my wife, but also because as a modern day performing strongman, people have a certain expectation of how I should look. Um, if I was like totally, totally skinny and still able to do the feats of strength, it would be very impressive, but it's more likely to have people think that it's fake or something like that. With the movies, you know, like the, with the superhero movies, they want the heroes to have a certain physique. So I'm sort of going along those lines because, like I said, there's a certain expectation. And with hypertrophy, it's like it's much easier get, to get the volume with weights than it is with isometrics because they can be deceptively fatiguing. So, Jamie, I hope that answers your question. If you have any additional questions or if anybody else has questions, drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you with your very own custom video. But that is it for today. In the meantime,
Please stay happy, stay healthy, stay strong. Eric Moss, over and out.